guys, it's Shannon. So today we are here to do a massive, tremendous, humongous, gigantic, um elf haul. So you know what? Let's just go with it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is a 150 piece eyeshadow palette. Um, this is their uh, geometric palette, and it came with this broken. But you know what? The eyeshadows weren't, so I don't really care. Um, this is what it looks like, just to give you an idea, and it literally has like every color of the rainbow. Granted, a lot of these colors I won't use. Um, I have green eyes, so like the blues and like some of these like yellows are not going to work for me at all. But for the most part, I absolutely love this. These are super pigmented. Um, I have used them both wet and dry and really love them. And I can just like swatch like a couple. Like here's the like gray. I don't know what the colors these are because it actually didn't like tell me. Um, here's like the purple. And oh, this is one of my favorites. This one's really pretty. This one's like green. See the green? You see the green? It's like. It's like algae. But anyway, like you can see, like they're super pigmented. They're pretty. Um, there's a few shimmers. There's some mattes. Um, I always drop stuff. There's like a little bit of everything in this palette. And I think, I want to say this was like six bucks, eight bucks, ten bucks. I don't know. But it was totally like worth for what you get. And I like it. That's all that matters. I like it. I'm going to use it. <laughs> Eyeshadow all over me. Oh, set that there. And get one of my little remover wipes here. Ugh. Okay. Um, so, then I got a bunch of nail polishes. I actually really like um, e.l.f. nail polishes. Of course, e.l.f. is iblitzchase.com. Um, for those of you that aren't aware. And... It is a drugstore brand that you can also shop on the website, and it's super, super, super affordable. I got, let's see, I think I actually got one more than this, but it was broken, and that's a long story, so we won't even go there. So, this is what their nail polishes look like, and these are touring formaldehyde, um, they're DPB free, so they're like free of all the bad stuff that you don't want like on your, I don't know, on your nails or to absorb in your body. This is the color Plum. And this is just like a really pretty um, matte purple plum color. I'm actually not sure if I will use this one. It looks different on the website than it looked when I got it. But um, this is one of my favorites. This is actually the one I'm wearing today. You know what? Let me sit these down so you can see this. Um, this is the color Champagne. Can you see that? I don't know. I'm like off camera, I think. Oh, there we go. Right there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's like a peachy, um, pinky color. It's It's got a little shimmer to it, but I put a matte top coat over it, so it looks matte, obviously, on my nails. But um, regularly, it has a little shimmer to it. And I use it in conjunction with this Enchanted, which is like these little beady things in... I thought this was just like a top coat when I ordered it, and then when I got it, no. I don't know if you can see this, but it puts like these little, like, little dots and like little cutesy little things on my nails, and I kind of love it, honestly. I will definitely be ordering this one because I've already used it a bunch. You can see it's like already down to here. I've only had this like a week. Um, I did this haul, by the way, with a... Um, 50% off their studio line coupon, which I always do because, I mean, hello, who doesn't want to save money? And the next one is Mood Moth, or Mod Moth, sorry. This is, again, like a kind of purple, but this is like more of a pale. This one does have, I, you know what, I suck at this like right now, sorry. Um, this one is like a really pale, it is a very cool color though. I haven't used this one yet, but I definitely will use this one versus the plum because the plum is just too, a little too much. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. I've used this several times. I'm not wearing it today, obviously. This is called Thunderstorm, and Thunderstorm is like a um, black brown, or black brown, black and sl like a slate gray almost. Again, it's kind of more of a matte color. 
Um, it's not really showing up great on camera, but it looks really great on my nails. The only thing I will say about this one is I did have to do two coats to get it to look the way I wanted, but I really love it. And I do like an OPI top coat over my mouth product, so um, it does mattify them, but I do have like a shimmer OPI. But it does last a long time. Mine usually lasts about a week, which I usually change my nail polishes about once a week anyway. So, um, one of my favorite things is this bag. It is just a bag. See the bag? See the bag? Ooh, the bag. And it's got like this zippered pocket. This is actually a brush bag. Watch me drop all of my brushes. Um, and it has 10 pockets. <laughs> Did you see that? Brush fell. Brush down. Man, it's down. Anyway, um, it's just got like these little like, <laughs> sorry. It's got like these little um, elastic bands here and you can just stick it. I have a ton of brushes in this. Obviously, I have a ton of brushes, period. A lot of these brushes I actually ordered with this haul. Um, this is the um, Essentials Line Blending Brush. I ordered this one. I have um, the Essentials Line Smudge Brush, which obviously is for eyeshadow. I have the Essentials Line Eyeshadow Brush, um, which... I really love, I mean, a lot of people complain about these, and I mean, they're not the greatest, they're a dollar brush, but for a dollar, like, I really love these, but I also ordered, um, and I, I ordered like two and three of each one of these, so ignore some of these other ones that I'm not going to go through because they're just dupes or duplicates of whatever I just showed you. Um, I ordered the same pretty much, well, this is the concealer brush, this is from the studio line, which... I love the studio line. This is the C brush from the studio line, which is basically just like an eyeshadow brush. I really love the studio line. These are really good quality brushes. I think I paid a dollar fifty for this. My shirt is just like really hair shirt. Up. I got this um, lash and eyebrow comb, which I love, and I think this is like a dollar fifty as well. Love this one. Again, I got dupes of most of these. Um, this is the, oh, it's another C brush. I already showed you that one. We don't need to go through that one again. I got the Elf Complexion Brush, which I actually use for blush. And it's like super soft and super poofy. And I just love it. Like, well, I actually use this for like my contour. Um, I actually, <laughs> I caught you. So bad. Um, I actually really love this brush as well. And then I got, let's see, oh, I got the um, powder brush, which they have like this big flat top brush, which I love. And I got this in the big, or the large, and the um, small, which they're pretty, they're different, but they kind of say they're similar. But this is like, this one is actually the blush brush, but they just kind of remind me, I don't know, this one's more angled. But the bristles, I guess I should say, feel the same. And then, let me put these up so that we're not just, I'm just not boring you. And then I got two simple brushes. I got the large and the small. Um, I use my simple brushes for my foundation because I use liquid foundation. These are what these look like. Here is the regular. I'm trying to see if you can see that. And then, uh, this is a small. And I don't really know what I'm going to use this for. I just thought it was cute. And it was, again, like $1.50 or something. So I got, like, a couple of these, too. The um, large silver brush I actually use for my liquid foundation, again, and then I just, you know, put it on. I, I dab it on my fingers, and then I just and blend. And I really, 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 really love these. I love brushes, period. More than anything, I ordered a ton of eyeshadow brushes because... I ordered the palette with 150 different eyeshadows in it, and so I figured I would kind of need them. I love the case, though, too, with the zippers, so my brushes don't, like, fall out in... What? <clears throat> fighting with my shirt, and I feel like it's really hot in here. I don't know. Anyway, so I got that, and then I'm just going to get through the boring stuff next. I got the um, Elf Daily Brush Cleaner. This is like a spritz. It's got like the little squirty. Um, and I just like spray this on like a cotton swab or tissue and then just rub my brush on it. And this just kind of like um, cleanses my brush daily. I especially use this on like my foundation brushes. 
Uh, and my eye cutter brushes because, you know, you want to keep the eye area sanitary. <clears throat> and then my e.l.f. brush shampoo, which is another product that I've heard mixed reviews on. I actually love this. It has zero smell. It is antibacterial. It conditions my brushes. I do have to use a lot of product to get my brushes clean, but I'm okay with that for the price. Like, I'm totally okay with that. And it's not sudsy, and it, yeah, it just really, it's like clear. It doesn't smell at all. Anyway, I love it. I ordered like five of these, I think, or four of these, and then I think I ordered two brush cleaners. I, I don't know. I'm big on sanitation, so I absolutely adore those. Now, um, I only ordered one Elf foundation. I had never tried an Elf foundation before, and so I was kind of curious. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to order one. I have a coupon anyway. And so I ordered the Acne Fine Foundation. Again, I have oily, um, acne prone, well, I have oily combination acne prone skin, so I'm just a hot mess all over the place. This is in the color porcelain. I hate this product. I'm, I'm again dropping stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I paid like a dollar fifty for this, but I don't even think it was worth that. Like, it, it's very creamy. I will give it that. But one, this color is like, way too light for me, like you can see that. Um, it looks totally different in the bottle and on your skin than it does on the website. The swatches are not true to form. It is drying, it is cakey, I, I don't know. I'm very picky about foundation as we all should be. I did not love this one at all. I may have this one on. Definitely won't be reordering this product. I wish it had worked. I wish I wanted to love it. I just did not. So, um, it's got salicylic acid, witch hazel, camphor tree, or camphor tea tree, and aloe in it. And I do love the little squeezy bottle, but I just did not love the product or the color at all. Um, let's see. Let's, you know what, let's move on to, oh, so basics, the boring stuff. So I ordered some blending wedges. I use these for um, my high definition blush, which you're going to see here in a few minutes. And it comes like this little wheel, and it's got, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little, and I just throw these away when I'm done. I use them like once, maybe twice, and then just throw them away. And this was like a dollar for this whole little wheel, so... Definitely like those. Um, the Dramatic Lash Kit, I've used these before. I don't need to wear fake lashes very often because I naturally have like pretty cool lashes in my opinion, but I do like to keep some fake lashes on hand. I will say this glue for this absolutely sucks. Obviously, I haven't used this one yet, but I've used the other kit that I have, which is why I'm not showing you that one. Definitely do not re uh, re recommend excuse me, the glue, buy your own lash glue, use the lashes. They're actually great lashes, just the glue sucks, in my opinion. But some people may love it. I don't know. Um, Shine Richer Sheets. These are just to take the oil out of your skin. This is in um, green tea. I just use these to, like, you know, take the oil off my, like, tea down when I'm out and about, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> these are a dollar for, I think it's 50, yeah, 50 sheets, this is what it looks like, and I, like, just, you know, right, like this, like, real quick, oh, I got lipstick all over it, anyway, I love these, I buy these, like, five and six at a time, and these are a dollar on the Essentials line, I love those, we'll definitely keep buying those, um, oh, blushes, I have a ton of those, so, I ordered these high definition blushes. These are the first time I tried these. I had seen another um, YouTuber review these that had like one in every color, so I bought two. This one was an encore, or this one is an encore, and this one is Superstar. This one scared me to death when I first got it. I thought it looked like clown makeup, bubblegum pink. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to use that. Absolutely adore this product once I use it. It takes a very little bit. Like, I'm going to show you, like, you just. Like, you have to be careful, almost, because this product, oh, okay, so see, like, you see, can you see that, like, how little I use, now, watch this, you're going to be like, what, really, okay, look at this, so, you just, I use it either with the blending wedges, or just with my fingers, and just, like, rub it in, or, like, pat it in, and then I set it with powder, 
I actually love this color. I didn't think I was going to like it. I actually love it. This is Encore again, which is more of a hot pinky color. And then Superstar, kind of same thing. Um, Superstar is a little paler, obviously. And it, this is actually more of a bubblegum pink, even though it doesn't look like it in the jar. I actually like Encore better, which is the one I was terrified of. And I use these, or I, yeah, I use these on my best friend a few weeks ago. And we both have dark hair and dark eyes, but our skin tones are totally different. I have more red tones, she has more yellow, and it looks great on both of us. So I definitely recommend these. Again, I think these were like $1.50 with the discount. Normally I think these are like $3 or something. But this will last you forever, too. I mean, even as small as this tube may look on camera, you use so little of this product, it would last me, like, I guarantee this will last me, like, a year, year and a half. Um, and I wear, you know, blush pretty regularly. Then I got um, the um, powder blushes. I got three of them. This is the color Fuchsia Fusion, which is a pinky. And I haven't even taken the plastic off this because I got this one because it was so, like, popular and then I got it and I was like oh no lord no because it is sparkle I don't use sparkle blush the color itself is really pretty but I don't do sparkle blushes they just don't go well on my skin at all so that's one I'll probably be like passing along but I heard great reviews so I want to try it so I got that one um this one I haven't even used yet this is in Melamov this one has no shimmer to it whatsoever. It's a very matte blush. I still haven't even taken the plastic off this one. But I will definitely use this one in the fall. You know what, let me take this off so you can get the shimmer effect off. And this one, like, I can't even really see. I've swatched it a couple times and I'm like, eh. But it would be, like, a really great, like, contouring blush, I think. I don't know. I'll use it for something. And then I got... Oops. And then I got Tickle Pink, which is one of their most coveted colors. And this one I actually had to wait on because, and you can see, it's like really pretty. It's just a very pale, I don't think you can see this on camera. But this one is one of their most like coveted, oh I didn't even show it to you. Whoopsie. Coveted like colors. It gets one of the best reviews for these powder blushes. I actually like that one. I just... My skin was um, too tan from the summer and just being at the lake and being out and about to be able to use that one yet. But I would definitely use that one in the fall once it starts getting all pale and, you know, that's usually what happens. Because I don't like tan, so, I mean, tan in the summer, obviously I'm out in the sun, but in the winter I don't go to like tanning beds and stuff, so I get a little paler and then I'll end up using that one. Um, let's see. And then I got... They're um, pressed powders. I got two of these. I got um, the color sand and porcelain. Porcelain I'm not going to be able to use, so I'm actually going to pass this one along. It is way too light for me. Even in the winter months, there's no... I keep dropping all the plastic. I'm never going to be able to use this. Like, it is too yellow. You can't see it on my skin. But um, I like these because you have, like, the powder... I'm oh, sorry. You have, like, the powder up top and then underneath... You have the little spongy um, thing, line, which I haven't even used, obviously. Um, sand, I'm definitely going to use. Same thing. It's got the little spongy underneath. That's what it looks like. And I really like these. I don't know. It's a very nice compact for like a dollar fifty or two dollars or whatever it is. Like, and I dropped this sponge. I'm like Butterfingers today, so don't worry about it. It's good. I won't use that anyway. I'll use the brush. But that's what this one looks like. It's got the little mirror, which I'm covering, obviously, so I don't blind anyone because I don't want to blind people. And then I got two of the Claire Bank Press Powder. I got this in the same color. I got this in rosy beige in both. And this is just supposed to, like, be for oil-prone, acne-prone skin, I think. But these are, like, from the, again, from the Essentials line. don't have a mirror. It doesn't come with anything. It's just this. But I was fine with that for a dollar. And I actually really like this color. I don't think you can, again, see that. But I got two of these because one I throw on my purse and one I just keep in my makeup case. But I actually really, 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 really like those. So um, I got those. 
And then I got, oh, and I did get this bronzer, which I don't like at all. I got this, um, this is from their mineral line, and this is the fake bronzer in the color Maui. And just like, can't even open it. Okay. child proof. And it's like, I don't know, it's like shimmery, almost. Like, I don't see, it's weird, like, it's got like this weird, like, shimmer to it, but... And it just does not look good on my skin at all. It makes me look like coppery. Like I was painted in copper. And I don't want to be painted in copper. I mean, that might be cool. Generally. But not when I'm doing my makeup to go out or something. And so I didn't love that at all. Um, but, I mean, if you have, I don't know. If you like a little shimmer in your bronzer, I would definitely recommend that one. Um, let's see. Oh, and then I got these lotion wipes. And these I actually don't even really use that much. Um, my boyfriend uses these just in the morning when he like gets out of the shower and he's getting ready for work and he just like throws them on. I'll show you what they look like. We got all three scents. There's vanilla, coconut, milk, and honey. And there's one thing. It's like my, no, I think there's four of them because we didn't get like a yeah. Oh, cucumber melon, and then there's like a mango one too that we got. Anyway, he uses these, and I just got them because. Um, to travel with and stuff. Like, I heard they're really great moisturizers. I've used it, like, once. And I actually did really like it. But, and for the price, like, can't be. And they do smell really, like, wonderful. And this comes with 15 sheets. Again, I think this is, like, a dollar fifty. And these are infused with aloe, coconut butter, vitamin E, soy, ginkgo, um, coconut milk, and sweet almond oil. So, and it's got all kinds of good stuff. And I just a little travel pack because it's got this little, like, flap and then it's got this one too so it keeps them really they don't dry out like none of these have dried out I don't know let me, let's just see how I like this oh. I really like the vanilla and coconut ones I think those are my favorites even though I don't really use them a lot I really like the vanilla and um, coconut and they do smell really amazing like I've heard mixed reviews on these um, on YouTube I actually really like these a lot moving on to the next product and we are doing the e.l.f. These are the Longwear Lip Liner. I believe these are from the Essential Line. I ordered four of these, obviously. I've already used them. Um, I ordered the colors. What's the colors? What's the colors? Um, blush, Spice, Bark, and Bitter. And I actually, I kind of like the B colors. Um, I actually ordered four of these, obviously, and I'll just swatch them for you really quickly, so we, this video is not any longer than it already is. So, we did that one first, so, blah. and then, whoops, the tops do not stay on these very well at all. I do like the liners, though. Um, they are really soft, and, um, they're pretty pigmented, I mean, for the price and natural blush. So, this is, let me get these straight here. Okay, so this is natural blush. This is spice, the second one. The third one is bark, and the one up here is bitter. And, I mean, they're all kind of like a pinky, mauve -y. I don't, can, like, can you even see that? I don't know. Like, I don't know why I look so yellow today. But anyway, um, I actually really like those. I think those were like a dollar a piece, but I was pretty happy with those. And then I ordered two other liners from the Essentials line. This is the uh, Brightening Eyeliner in Black, and this is the Eye Widener in Pearl White. This I don't like at all, which is the black one, because it is the, nor I mean, it, it does go on better than most like of the soft crown, quote unquote, but I don't really, I don't know. I, I like the, like, more, like, mineral black eyeliners for some reason. Um, I feel like those, sometimes you have to, like, scrub them, like, scrub your face, like, like, I don't know. I'm, like, scratching my eyeballs to get that on, and it, I don't know. Anyway, this one I really love. I just use this as, like, a highlighter under my eyebrows. Um, it does have the um, sharpener in it. It just looks like that. I mean, just a traditional white liner. And then you just, like, stick it in here and then, like, turn it. 
like this. And I don't know if you can see that. And it like sharpens it, which is kind of cool. Which I do like. That's the built in sharpener. Oh, it's a big plus for me. Um, and again, for the price, like you can't beat it. So I'm just like throwing crap all over my bathroom. Anyway, this one I definitely recommend. The black one, not so much. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar a piece for those. They weren't much. They were like a dollar, dollar fifty. But I think they were a dollar. Um, then I got, oh, wait, I've got like four of these. So I got this um, ELF SPS 15 lip balm, and it just looks like this. This is just clear, obviously. And this is like a little bit of a minty smell. I mean, you can't really see anything on it. I just like took this one to the lake a couple times. I throw this in my purse and just use it as a, like, regular lip balm, and it does not, I'm having, like, clothing issues over here, I don't even know, um, what I get, um, I did it again, awesome, um, let's see, <clears throat> oh, so I got these, um, Mineral Moisturizing Lip Tint SPF 8, and I got these in the colors Guava and Pink, and here is pink and that has like nothing to it just like a really mellow shimmer of pink but these I thought would be cool like in the summer and again they were 50% off so I was like why not you know whatever so and it's SPF so I don't know you could probably use these as like a primer too maybe I don't know I haven't tried these a lot honestly i just have it. I put them in like my makeup case until I them. <laughs> Isn't that awful? But I've got so much lip stuff that it's hard not to forget some stuff. Anyway, um, my favorite things that I got for lips, or well, a few of my favorite things, is I got these matte lip colors, and these are like sticks, and I got these in the colors Rich Red, um, Praline, Natural, and Coral. Which the coral I expected to be a little more orangey and it just wasn't. The rich red is what I'm wearing right now. And I just really like these because, I mean, you can line with these. You can like, so that's red. Ugh, cut myself off there, but that's fine. This is praline. Let's see. So rich red praline. Um... I don't really like this one at all. This one's way too pink, but I don't think I've tried that one before. I think I just like, I'm just washing them for you guys. Okay. So, um, so this is Rich Red. This is the Praline. This is the, what did I say that one was? Like, Natural. And this is the Coral. And this one and this one I don't care for at all. These two I really love. Um, I have used the red and the praline several times. They go on really well. They are not drying. They're not, they don't give you like the, you know, a lot of times the matte lip colors will give you like the almost like crunchy lip feeling or dry your lips out. These do not do that at all. So I really do love those. Um, the other two, I don't know. I, uh, I just don't like the colors as much. I still like the products. I just don't adore the colors at all. And I got this, um, uh, lip primer pump from e.l.f. as well to use under those so that it doesn't, like, bleed or run or, or whatever. And it has two sides. So, the primer side is, it looks like a concealer, honestly. I don't like this side at all. It makes your lips look, like, pasty, chalky, and, I mean, it's like putting primer on your lips because that's what it is, and I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't care for that one at all. The plump, I do love, I don't know how effective it is, but I like it, and it really smells like Big Red, like Big Red gum. I think um, Graveyard Girl, Bunny Meyer, I'm sure all of you have watched her videos, Bunny actually did a review on this and said the same thing, and she was 100% accurate, like, it literally smells exactly like Big Red, and we're kind of opposite, because I believe she said she would just use the primer side, and I'm just saying I would use the plump side, but to each their own, you know what, it's, we all have our loves and our hits and misses, and for me, the plumper side was 
worse the price of the stick versus the primer side because I don't really need my lips to look all pasty. I can't pull it off the way um, other people may be able to. And so then I got the Lip Definer and Shaper. And I'm kind of on the fence about this product, honestly. So the Shaper is on this side, and it's like a pencil. And, I mean, it's more of like a nudie. Like, you can't really see it. It's got a little shimmer to it, which is kind of strange to me for a Shaper. But it's got the um, sharpener built in again. And then the primer, or the definer, sorry, is this side. And it's like a nudie, I don't know. I like this color better. I like this side better, but I don't even know what I would use that for because I wouldn't use it as just like, maybe I would use it as like a matte lipstick. I don't know. I really use this because I swatched it when I first got it. Didn't really love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Honestly. Um, then I got a tube of the um, Shimmer Lip Gloss, which this is from the Dollar Line. Again, I really, really love this one. I love the smell of it. Um, fixing my clothes. I'm like, it's like choking me or something. I don't know. Anyway, I really love this one. It smells amazing. It has like a vanilla scent to it, like, and it's got the little smudgy brush. I don't know what you call those brushes, but that's my favorite type of gloss brush. I probably need to look that up before I do any more. And this is in the color Famous Eyes. This was totally worth it. Like, it was totally worth a dollar. I wish I'd ordered, like, ten of these because it's not a lot of product, obviously. I mean, look at the size. But I really love the product, so I'll definitely be ordering some more of those. Um, I got the e.l.f. Luscious Lipstick. This, again, was from the Dollar Line. This is a little different because it has, like, this little spongy thing on the top, and then you, like, twist this up to get the product out, which I don't want to do too much because, as you can see, there's very little product. I've used this once, and that's just to swatch it and put a little bit on my lips just to see what it felt like, and that's all that's left. So, I mean, for a dollar, I guess you really can't beat it, and it smells like peppermint. A lot of their stuff smells like peppermint. But anyway, I do like these, but, I mean, if you order one and you like it, I would advise, like, your next order to order several because it's not a ton of product at all. And I'm kind of scared to carry it in my purse just because it's got that little spongy, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm scared of my lip gloss. But anyway, um, then I got this conditioning lip balm um, pot, which is the SPF 15. I got this in the color Romantic Rouge. I'm big into the reds this year for some reason. Now, this is... I love the way this smells. I don't know any of you who have ever been to Las Vegas. Obviously, I said before, I live in Las Vegas. I mean, it's not very... Like, pigmented at all, but um, this is what it looks like, just so you know. It's like a little pot. It's like, it's cute, but I mean, I don't think it'd be convenient. I don't know. See, I like the way it feels. I don't, it wouldn't be convenient to like carry in your purse or anything, probably unless you want to carry like a lip brush, but if any of you have ever been to Las Vegas, this smells like the casino, Mandalay Bay, I live in Las Vegas. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but it does. It's got this, like, beachy, coconutty, tan oil smell, which I absolutely love. And the minute I smelled it, I was like, oh, oh, my goodness, that's what it smells like. Like, I, yeah. So, um, I love the way that casino smells, actually. And that's what it smells like. And that's probably, like, the stupidest thing I said in this whole video. I mean, maybe I've said a lot of stupid things, but that's exactly what it smells like. But it is cute. It's like a little... Oh, this is my makeup remover wipe for all the swatches. Um, anyway, it looks like that. Again, it's not a ton of products, but, and I think this, again, was like $1.50 or $2 or something. I don't know. But I really like that. And then I got um, two e.l.f. glitter glosses, and these are the very, very glittery glosses, which I kind of love. I don't know, just for special occasions or, I don't know. I just, glitter makes me feel pretty for some reason. And this is in the color Bronze Bling, and this is Sparkling Wine, and I will show you these. And I haven't actually worn these out yet, and because I don't love these brushes. I like the product. Another, I, the Glossy Gloss, which is another one I'm going to show you, and I did um, a review on that in September. 
I love the product. I don't love these little, like, weird brushes, but you know what? If you like the product enough, I think it's worth the sacrifice. So, um, I just kind of have ran with these, but I just haven't had an occasion yet to really wear the really sparkly stuff recently. So, this is the bronze bling. And um, the second one is the sparkling wine. And I mean, you can see they're super pigmented. They're super sparkly. Um, these aren't really sticky at all. They're kind of smooth. I mean, they are more sticky than the glossy gloss, but the glossy gloss. I have like um, four or five of these. This is the color Muted Boss. Same brush, which I do not love at all. You can see it's like that little weird. I don't know. I don't. It, it's like flashback to the 80s or something with this brush. And it doesn't, like, go on. I feel like I have to put 50 coats on just to, like... But I love this color. And I love this gloss. Like, I love the glossy glosses. And they don't really have a smell. It's It's got a very faint, like, almost vanilla smell to me. But don't quote me on that. I don't know. I just... I realized that the glossy glosses, I ordered, like, all of them. Not in this order, though, which is why I'm not showing them to you. But I really like those. I ordered the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Balm, which this is, again, from the Dollar Line. This is the color Berry, which is a red color. Um, and this is, like, a lot more red than the one I showed you a minute ago with the um, SPF 15 um, Conditioning Lip Balm. But, it's, I mean, it shows up pink. I mean, it looks red, like, obviously in the tube, as you can see. But on my hand, it is more of like a pinky color, but if you put like a red liner under it, I'm sure it will look more red. But these I really like, and again, not really any scent at all. They're not super sticky or greasy or, I don't know, I like them. And you know what, for a dollar, again, I'll go for it. Then I got two lipsticks. This is from, I believe this is from the Essentials line. I don't remember. This is in the color Fearless. And this one came, like, kind of messed up because it's, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, like, kind of stuck to the tube. Like, on the side, it's, like, bent. I don't know. Maybe it melted. But I really, really kind of like the color. I don't love it, but I like it for the price. Like, it's kind of like a hot pink with like red tones in it. I don't know when I'm going to use this, but I mean you can see. It's it's different. It's different. But it's very creamy. It it has a smell really, I mean a little bit maybe. I don't know. I can't place some of these smells. But anyway, I really like this one. And then this is from the Mineral Line and this is Royal Red. And this one I love. I don't even wear lipstick normally, but this one, like, I wore it the first time, and it's not red at all. I don't know why they call it red, because it's more of, like, a mauve burgundy color, but it, like, goes very with my skin tone. I've worn a couple of my videos, actually. Love, love, love this one to death. I don't, I, I, I love you. I, I heart you. I love you. Um, and then... I'm trying to move fast, you guys, because there's, like, I've went, I've gone through a million things, and this is going to be, like, the longest video of my life. Um, I ordered the, um, e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit. Again, this is from the Mineral Line, and I ordered this in dark. And I ordered this more so. It's got this little, like, filming thing to protect it, which is great. It's got the, um, wax on this side and the powder on this side. It comes with a little brush. I ordered this because I heard really great reviews and I dropped the brush. Like, that's what, number six, five, six, I don't know. I ordered this because I heard really great things about it and I have used the same eyebrow kit for, I don't know, like five or six years. And so I really wanted to compare the two because this is supposedly a dupe or has been accused of being a dupe for the one I already used. So, this is Benefits Browsing in Dark, and I don't know, you guys tell me, I was pretty darn impressed, like, really. This one is, I believe, $38, $35 at Sephora, and this one I paid $1.54 from e.l.f., and to me, they look pretty similar, with the exception of the powder, which I don't use anyway. The only difference is the um, Benefit one comes with two brushes as well as a mini tweezer, and the e.l.f. one only came with the brush, but I'm fine with that because I've got enough tweezers and brushes that I didn't need it. So I was pretty, like, pleased, honestly. And it's not, 
I don't know. Maybe you just use more of this because this is not <laughs> it's like a wax like coating because it's wax. But I mean, it's you can't even see that. But I, I don't know. I was pretty pleased with it. I'm excited to try it. Obviously, um, I haven't yet, but I was okay with that. Please feel free to email me at sholt702 at gmail.com. Um, follow me on Twitter at sholt702. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.